Hello, my name is Paul from Plenty Patch. Um, it is early autumn, and we're just in the process of cleaning up all the beds. And I, it's a great it's a great time to share a fantastic little tip that I picked up on how to make the most of plants that look otherwise utterly useless. Um, so I'm standing above beds here, um, which have lots of sort of tomatoes left over and spring onions. And the, the plant we're referring to is the spring onions. Um, you'll see that those spring onions are looking pretty ordinary at this point in time and in most cases people will just clear them and throw them away. However, they are, can be still very, very useful plants. Alrighty, so we have all of our spring onions here now um, that have been pulled out from the garden. Some are even rotting a little bit. Um, but one of the things you might not realise is that you can treat spring onions in much the same way that you treat a, um, uh, an onion set. Okay, so these, these uh, spring onions have a fully developed root system. Um, so that means that what you can do is simply lop off the top of it and plant it. And so what that will do is that this, this spring onion will respond by starting to produce another spring onion. So you can treat the spring onion as cut and come again plants. So the advantage of doing that is that firstly you're recycling plants, in, I, I don't have to plant any spring onions in this, this year, but I, I can basically just get an earlier harvest as well because the plant doesn't need to develop the system, uh, of the root system, and that just makes the, the growing process a whole lot faster. Once you've cut the bottom off the spring onions, the next step is to plant them. Now when you're planting them, you do need to provide them with a little bit of extra space if they've been transplanted. Uh, because but because they are uh, mature plants with a uh, root system. So here is the spring onions just a couple of weeks later and you can see that they're well advanced, they're looking pretty good and they're almost ready to harvest. So that technique that I've just shown you will definitely produce spring onions much faster than any other method. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.